Hi guys and welcome back to Diary of an Inner Fat Girl Cooking. So today we are talking about cooking for our kids. Sometimes it's so hard to find like healthy alternatives, you know, because they don't really understand, oh, I need to, to eat healthy carbs, blah, blah, blah. So I found um, this recipe has been really a, god a godsend um, while I was on keto specifically, um, but this is just a great way to make something for your children um, that uh, is, is a healthy alternative to what it would be originally. So I'm making fish fingers, cheesy fish fingers um, made out of cod and I'm making some cauliflower cheesy mashed potatoes and that's what I'm going to start doing now. So um, we've got about a cup and a half, two cups of cauliflower that's been boiling and we're going to boil it till it's really soft. Um, this is almost um, good to go. And so while that's boiling and it's almost ready, I'm going to show you um, the different things. So for the cauliflower mash, I've got my coconut cream. I've got some whipping cream, which is only, I think, keto approved. So if you're on keto, I'm not on keto, um, but I eat a lot of keto influenced food. I enjoy eating keto. And uh, this is almond flour and this is um, psyllium husk. And then we have salt and pepper. That's it. We're going to keep it really nice and simple uh, for the cauliflower mash. And then we now move on to our cod fish fingers. So here is a mixture of Parmesan cheese, almond flour. And that's basically just been uh, grated together in the food processor. And then we've got an egg here, which we're going to use as our binder when we're making our breadcrumbs. Now we have some cheese. So then here we've got some ghee which is um, what we're going to fry our fish sticks in i've also put a couple of fish sticks in the oven so i'm going to compare uh, the two and then we have some coconut butter uh, which i haven't decided if i'm going to use because we've got ghee and i want to be careful about my fat intake so first things first i'm just going to pour out as much water as i can into this bowl so we're going to leave it here and we're going to I, the reason i'm putting it back onto the hot fire is actually off but i want the pan to remain hot so inside i've got my cauliflower as you can see in here so i'm just going to add my coconut cream and as i said i personally don't measure food but if you and that's because i'm now at a weight that i don't mind losing the weight a little bit slower so i'm just kind of enjoying the ride now but if you know that you are i would definitely measure it find out the caloric value of all these things. I add a little bit of almond milk. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of ghee as a form of butter. My salt and pepper. As I said, I always keep my ingredients nice and simple. I really don't use too many ingredients in my food. Um, and you just, you know, you decide how smooth you like it. I like it really smooth because I don't want my kids to find out that it's not potato. So basically, if you look in, you can see it looks nice and smooth like um, mashed potatoes. But we're not done yet. We have one more step. I'm going to go ahead and add the cauliflower mash back into the pot. And as you can see, it's hot, sounding hot. So uh, first of all, I'm adding a little bit of psyllium husk. So while that's mixing, I'm actually going to add all of that cheese because I want it to be nice and stringy. Ooh, it's not, the fish fingers that are in the oven are browning nicely. So as you're getting closer, you can see that it's got a nice cauliflower, it's got a nice uh, mashed potato consistency, and it was super easy. Oh, I love it when things work out. And I'm just gonna put this to one side while I get ready to start my fish fingers. So we're gonna start off with our cod which I'm just literally going to throw into the egg. You, uh, you know, you can season your egg. I would put a little bit of salt, actually. But because I've already got cheese in um, my, like, breadcrumb mix, I'm not going to bother. And as I told you, inside the breadcrumb mix is just Parmesan cheese and almond flour. Um, I want to be careful with using breadcrumbs and stuff like that just because of the carbohydrates. So once I've mixed it up, and I'm going to show you one that I did earlier, um, it kind of looks something like this because you're supposed to leave it in the freezer overnight. 
So right now I've put two and a half tablespoons of ghee and I'm using it a lot because it's actually supposed to be like a pan fry. So I'm not afraid. I'm going to take one of these fishies that I just mixed the breadcrumbs. Oopsie. A little messy. And I'm going to use that as my tester to know when it's frying so that I can keep moving. So I would say fry three minutes or two minutes on each side. So this is one that I made earlier. These are some cheese fish finger thingies which can't, they came out really well. Uh, so we have basically on over here, we have the baked ones, which I love how it came out, not so oily. So then now we've got our mashed potato. Yeah, this is basically my interpretation of fish fingers and cauliflower mashed potatoes. So let me go ahead and taste them. So I tasted the baked. Let me taste some of the fried. And you can see it has the same consistency as potatoes. It's delicious. So thank you so much for watching. If you have more recipes, especially for parents who are trying to help their kids get into shape, please send us emails. Please DM us. Don't forget to subscribe and we will be here again to show you some more recipes. So thank you so much. Bye.